Yep, nice one. You definitely want to be in front and you want to pay attention to the amount of space between you because you want to leave enough room for her to comfortably slow down and stop. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, I just saw you. I just think you look really, really nice. Oh, thank you. That's nice. This is a very nice daytime opener. It's semi-direct. Uh, it should get a positive response. And then if you handle the follow-up correctly, you stop her in the right way, it's actually got a really high chance of success. Well, I'm Richard, by the way. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And what are you up to today? I'm going to meet a friend now. Hang on a second. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, that's good. And look, I hope you don't mind me asking, but we're in a park. Yeah? Right. And you're wearing heels and a dress. What's that about? <laughs> I just had an interview. Oh yeah? Looking for a job? Yes, I am. So what job are you looking for? I want to be an administrator in a restaurant. In this case, you do need a bit more information, so asking another question is the right choice. You said you just had an interview over there. What yeah, was right. that? Um, just in the restaurant over there. Ah, there's the restaurant right on the park, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. That's quite a fancy one. That's yeah, it is. That's a pretty good place to work. I like it. Hmm, and is it, I think it's Italian food, if I'm yeah, not mistaken, Yeah, yeah, it's right? Italian, Mediterranean cuisine and stuff. Well, that's good, because it's very tasty, but for me, I don't know, if I work there, and yeah. if they had free food, I'd just be, I don't know, like, getting <laughs> huge. Really? Yeah, you need that's to find out problem. if they have free food there, if oh, they okay. do. <laughs> don't know. Well, you know what? I actually know a lot of uh, restaurant owners in the city and it's always interesting their story. Some of them started even as waiters, some mm. of them as administrators and then they work their way up to manager, owner and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're still young. Who knows what will happen in the future? Yeah, actually, you're right. This is perfect because, again, you've resisted that urge to help. You know, I can help you. I know these people. I can help rewrite your CV, whatever it is. That a lot of guys have and the standard guys have but the guys that she's most attracted to wouldn't do that so you need to you know stay cool and answer in a way like this you don't know her well enough after one minute two minutes five minutes to be helping her save it until she's your girlfriend so what is your job my job well i'm a salesman oh yeah that's um, nice what what do you sell Hmm. Now I sell software and actually I started selling like cars and even double glazing back in the day and now I sell software so it's a lot more relaxed and it's, um, it's quite good, I like it. Good being a salesman, you get to meet lots of people. Oh, I guess, right. Yeah. And tell me, you know, I was just talking to my friends and they're looking for jobs at the moment as well oh. and they told me that they, they're kind of bitching about immigrants all the time. So what do you think? Because you're like unemployed, looking for a job. What do you think about the immigrant situation? I think it's okay. I actually like the idea very much because um, immigrants bring diversity and, you know, it's a good thing. Well, I don't really agree with it too much because you have to think you've got a culture, right, in a country and then when you let in too many people from another culture, they have to really integrate, learn the language, um, make friends with the local people, everyone has sure. to get along well. And that's multiculturalism and that's when it works. Yeah. But when you've got people coming in that aren't part of that, you know, you can't really say, okay, you know, as many can come as they like, right? right. So really depends actually on the immigrants, their attitude and you know whether they can integrate because it's really right. beautiful when people do integrate. Yes, true. There are many ways to build attraction but this is actually one of the most powerful. If you can use intelligence, reasoned argument and change someone's mind, 
it's really, really cool and sexy. So obviously try it in real life and well done for picking the right solution in this case. Well, you know what, regardless of whether you're for or against immigrants, the okay. r very cool thing that they bring is all the food, yeah? Because like in England, we've got so much tasty Indian food. It's just delicious. We've got the Chinese food, it's wonderful. Yeah. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't have such a cool uh, multicultural society. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a positive. It's fantastic food. Yeah, and I agree. Maybe I'm just hungry now. I'm thinking about food. You've got the restaurant thing, but what's your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. Tacos? Yeah, it's Mexican. Yeah, they're tasty, of course, I like all that. But you know, it's a little bit unhealthy. I'm more like a, you know, organic, healthy kind of guy. Okay. If you don't like something, feel free to come out and say it. Um, if it's too much, if it's too negative, it's bad. But from time to time, it just shows a really shocking honesty that women find very rare, refreshing and attractive. And tell me, can you cook? No, not really. Well, come on. What about boiling an egg or, I don't know, scrambled eggs, other egg-based di dishes? No, I don't like it. No? Pasta? Oh, no. You can't cook or you don't like it? I can't and I don't like it as well. Wow. Well, consider this. I think it's really nice when two people can cook together. And I'm not saying you and me, because we just met, but in general, it's really cool. And okay. so maybe I could get you lessons. Like if it was your birthday and we were still in touch, cooking lessons. Would you like that? I don't know. I think I never tried, so it might be interesting. Yes. Yeah. Why doesn't she cook? That's fine. Be playful. Tease her about it. I do cook a little bit from time to time. I quite like it. Oh, that's interesting. What do you cook? Uh, I like Italian food. I like healthy food. Oh. So, yeah, I could, I've got a few like specialties that I make. Yeah, that's great. I think men are better at cooking than women. Yeah? Yeah, all great chefs are men. Well, that's actually true. But yeah, the men are good at cooking, but actually I go as far as saying men are better at pretty much everything. Oh, come on, you're kidding, right? Should I be kidding? Well, let's yeah. assume I meant it. Like, what, what's something women are better at, do you think? Everything. <laughs> what, body, bodybuilding, powerlifting? There's only one side, Formula okay? Formula One racing. No, women have Football, uh, better hockey. intuition. Women are better artists. Women are better musicians. Da Vinci, Michelangelo, what? I don't know, that's stupid. Oh, maybe in the Actresses past women weren't allowed to. And whatever, everyone is women. Playful is always good, so that's a good option. Such nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And do you do any outdoor activities or you're usually inside? Oh no, I love it. I yeah. like walking. You see, I'm in the park right now. Yeah, and in your heels. Actually, <laughs> actually, I like riding a bike. I yeah. have a bike. And I'm fond of climbing and stuff. And well, quite a activities. lot then. Yeah, I like hmm. it. I would have never guessed that you're an active kind of girl because you've got... Well, I guess you don't have like huge nails or anything, but... No. Long hair. So no, that's cool that you're active. This should be part of any conversation where you go from stranger to wanting to see them again, getting the number or instant date, whatever it may be. You need to take it to things that they like to do because you're looking for that reason to see them again, that common connection or that date suggestion that you can come up with. Okay, cool. So my idea would be that I don't know, we pick a day when the weather's good and we could okay. ride bikes and I could even bring a few snacks and drinks and have a little picnic. Oh, I think that would be great. That's yeah? a nice plan. Excellent. Yeah. Cool, so put your number in my phone and sure. we'll sort it out. Okay. Here you are. That's brilliant because you've just got such a logical step to su then suggest doing this for the date. So it's the right option. Well done. I'll call your phone right now so that you've got my number too, right? Otherwise you won't know who's calling. Okay. Hang on. Okay, it's ringing, is it? 
Yeah, it's buzzing. Okay, cool. So you've got my number now as well. Okay. If you're going to be getting in touch with her, it makes sense to give her your number. She can also go and, you know, check out your um, Facebook and do some snooping if she's that way inclined. What's your schedule like over the next few days? Uh, let me think. I'm a bit busy, but um, on Thursday, Thursday is good. I can. You're free think. on Thursday? Yeah. Remember that every time you're speaking to a girl that you want to see again and you're going to get her number, you have to include this step. So well done for choosing it here. Make sure you build it in as part of your real life um, dating skills. You always find out what she's got coming up so that you know when you can see her again. Great, so we'll keep in touch and see you around. Ciao. Bye. Bye. When you leave in this cold way, it's fantastic because it makes her think about you even more. She wonders if you're going to call and that's actually the way you want to leave it psychologically. Sounds cruel, but you're not going to be cruel in the end. And in the early stages where you do need to play a little bit with the psychology, it works very, very well. Serving niggas out the window. Have a nine three kids with a hustle for Jamendo. Had to get it off the mental. Had to move with the intellect. Niggas on me begging that paddy wagon, but I won't let her in, oh, sir. I gotta watch my...